The Stack, People, Business, Technology, with Dan Tomaszewski of Everything MSP. Hello, everybody. Dan Tomaszewski here with Everything MSP. We are live in Denver, Colorado at the PAX 8 event, which is Beyond 24 incredible amount of energy there's been so much excitement especially around a very big announcement that came out today about the new pax 8 marketplace experience and i am very excited to have philip morgan here he is the pax 8 cro for amia how are you doing today philip i'm doing really good particularly after a great launch today yes i mean the the energy that was coming out of that room this morning was amazing um the, uh, the, uh, the, the two words that come to me are game changing. And uh, I, I just been speaking to more and more MSPs throughout uh, the day and the excitement is just nonstop. Um, so when we take a look at what's happening in this change, tell me what does this mean to MSPs? So the biggest thing it means is that we're delivering solutions that help them move their businesses forward, right? For too long, we've been saying at PAX 8, distribution is broken, the MSP is underserved. And so finally, uh, MSPs now have a, a solution uh, in terms of Opportunity Explorer, uh, the CIS controls element, and more importantly, storefront. They have this unique trifecta yeah. uh, of uh, capability to be able to have conversations with their customers in a unique way by us just turning the world upside down. Okay. And uh, that's why they're so excited about it, right? Because it's going to change the way they do business. Absolutely. And uh, so I'm sure you've been speaking to some MSPs throughout the day. What, what are you hearing from them about this exciting event? Um, well, the big thing was, when can we have it? And yes. we leaked a lot of it last year at, at Beyond uh, at 23. Sure. Um, and now it's a reality. And for those that attended uh, here at Pax 8 Beyond uh, Live, uh, they will have access at 6 p.m. this evening, which is in about two hours. Um, yeah. And then the rest of the channel will have to wait until the middle of this month uh, for them to have uh, access uh, as well as yes. a special uh, response for those partners that are here. I literally had somebody walking by and I heard them say, I cannot wait until 6 p.m. Yeah, tonight. And, uh, that's that's amazing. So um, we will break it down. We have some additional guests that are going to help break this down. But again, can you tell us how it's broken down? What what are the pillars of the new market? Yeah. So when you're with Patrick from Germany and uh, David from uh, the UK uh, later on, uh, they will give you a real world answer, right? Rather than me uh, sure. as, as PAX 8. And so they will double click on what uh, I am talking about here initially. Okay. But in essence, the biggest challenge for an MSP right now is what we're calling a configure pricing and quoting for cloud services, hardware, and other one-time revenue professional services that they would want. So what we are allowing them to do is the way the world has changed with cloud services is what used to happen is you would sell some hardware, right? This is your background too, Dan. Yeah. You would sell some hardware and maybe add some cloud services onto it. Sure. Well, for them in their businesses, as you'll hear from them later, they are now predominantly selling cloud services and adding some hardware or maybe some professional services to it. Yeah. So the world has not been ready for that. We talk about being born in the cloud or born in the shed right. in terms of old distribution, right? Yeah. Um, so you'll hear from them really how uh, the configure price quote of uh, the a solution works in order for them then to finish by sending a quotation to storefront, spot the opportunities through uh, Opportunity Explorer to have those conversations. And, and then as well as that, map it to security controls that are required to keep the, the business of the okay. customer of the MSP safe. Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our other guests and we're going to drill down or double click, as you yes. said, we're going to drill down a little bit deeper. Uh, but I do appreciate this opportunity to to hear more from you. So Lovely. thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me on, Dad. Thank you much. Cheers. <laughs> All right. So as we continue here, I have Patrick Lenz, who is from Germany. He's an MSP company, is Top Media, and uh, you know you are here live. You you are you have some special privileges of early access of the new marketplace experience, and so I'm uh, quite envious that you've been able to see everything. Although we will and just you know, a few short hours, be able to see it as well. Um, 
So when we take a look at this, tell me a little bit about how this will impact your business and what it means to you as an MSP. Okay. So the, um, the, the challenge has always been that you start somewhere with a customer and then there's the customer journey and you want to sort of bring them along and be proactive about it. And you, you start with each customer at a different level, at, at a different sure. stage. And the, the fact of the matter is you want to align that in terms of being able to support them better in, in order to make them more compliant with, with different things. And you have to have an overview of where they are and where you want them to be. And one of the best ways to do that is just following CIS controls, for example. Sure. So compliance and security is just this very, very special theme. We've seen this all over the conference this yeah. week is that every other talk is either AI, of course, or security. And we, we have to follow all of that through with all of our customers and make sure that they sort of get on the same page, uh, are protected equally, but sort of to their own budget, to their own okay. size, to their own industry. And with the, the launch of the marketplace changes, we get all of these tools to help us accomplish this alignment. Okay. Um, so having the inside track on this, um, I'm sure it's just been quite amazing and you've watched it evolve through during this process. Um, now that it is going to be here live mm -hmm. um, for those attendees tonight and then June 17th will be available for uh, globally. Um, tell me a little bit more about what you're looking to do next, what you're looking to implement. Um, you know, what is the key focus area for you? So think of it uh, like this. Uh, Microsoft had this, uh, I think it was called Project Orland, which was a very Microsoft-centric way of just uh, looking at your customer, look at the, at the potential, what to cross-sell, what to upsell with them. Sure. Um, but as much as we'd like it to be Microsoft only, the world is sort of, there is a world outside of Microsoft. Right. So what Pax8 gave us with um, the, the Opportunity Explorer, for example, is just looking at the customer at all of their sort of posture in a way and give us a way to see where there's a gap, maybe yeah. identify those gaps and, and also suggest products that would fill that gap. Um, so from the Pax8 catalog, which is quite massive, you will get recommendations. Yes, they use AI, of course. So yeah. check that off on the bingo card um, that we will be able to just use that vendor for that customer in that area to close that gap. Um, so what Pro Project Orland did in a Microsoft centric way, we now get with a broader view across the industry yeah. and, and sort of be able to gauge how where the customer stands where they need to go because we do want to, them to be protected. We want them to be compliant. Right. Uh, and you go into a Opportunity Explorer and you see on a client by client basis um, where you have actionable items. You see the, the amount of uh, monthly recurring revenue you're going to generate sure. and also what the cost is for the customer. And you can follow through, call, uh, follow up with them, make a quotation out of the suggestion. Yep. So you have this whole end-to-end -end process of just making sure that it is visible to the customer as well. I mean, that visualization um, is amazing. Yeah. I mean, to be able to see where there are gaps in the overall stack. Um, I mean, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It is. And, it is visually compelling. Yeah, that's excellent. So, um, so your next steps are, um, you, I mean, are you, are you already currently active and live and have it in production or will that be coming up for you within your organization? It was still beta. So when we got the preview, um, we were still able to give feedback and shape sort of the, the outcome of okay. these developments. And uh, so once it is actually live live, then we will start using it in, uh, in production, if you will. Okay. Um, but we've been able to just sort of uh, trace our steps and, and prepare what we need to do Excellent. once it is live. Any uh, final parting words for our audience in looking forward to this? Uh, just thanks to PAX8 for, for making this a reality. It, yeah. It's just really helpful to have a partner on your side that understands the market, understands the business, and uh, enables you to, to do a better job at what you do at providing the best way for customers to be protected. Excellent. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Patrick Lentz from Germany, thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate Pleasure. it. Thank, thank you. you. All right, so we are... Um,
here, we have an additional MSP uh, from the United Kingdom, Dave Taylor, and you are with AMSHO. Yep. Saying that correctly? Yep, that's correct. Um, that's very cool. Um, so you also had the advanced access to the new PAX 8 marketplace, um, which I'm also envious of, which is pretty cool. And uh, so one of the things I wanted to learn a little bit more about is what specifically really is exciting for you that you know other MSPs would like to hear about? Yeah, I think for, for us, it's around the intelligence around uh, the different products and services that we can offer our customers okay. um, that perhaps we've overlooked because it's too noisy that we've not been able to focus our sales um, around those uh, products and services. Very good. Um, so tell me a little bit about what things you implement when you're ready to go live and be full production with the marketplace. So for us, it's I'm, I'm now thinking about how we can give this storefront to our customers so that they can provision their own licensing. Yes. So it takes away all that additional sort of admin labor intensiveness um, from our team um, and, and give customers that, that quick access to those licenses that they, they require. Yeah. So you're going to be able to do more with less. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So that, you know, operationally, um, from an inefficiency perspective, that, that's huge for you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The, the more that we can uh, take away from our internal staff, we can give a faster, better response to our customers, which is what they're crying out for. Speed is everything, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And um, so have you spoken to any of your clients as far as what you have coming up? Not at the moment. And that's the exciting bet. So yeah. I've, I've already had a conversation with somebody else back in the office a couple of hours ago. Um, and it's like, how can we put this in place and, and what's it going to look like from a customer point of view? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so as we wrap things up, are there any parting words that you'd like to share or advice you'd like to give MSPs that might be interested in looking at the new marketplace experience? Oh, absolutely. Definitely get get access to it. Um, it's coming very soon. I think it's uh, 17th of June. Um, get on with it. Um, see what it can do, link in your um, systems um, and open the door to um, more revenue. Excellent. Gabe, thank you so much for your time. I Pleasure. greatly appreciate those insights. And for all of our audience members out there, lots and lots of excitement, a lot of energy about the new PAX 8 Marketplace experience. Check it out at PAX 8. And thank you for listening. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to The Stack.